Hello and welcome to Penn's Pals. My name is Miss Dawn. And I'm Miss Camila. Welcome everyone at home and welcome Holy Trinity's Den 3 Cub Scouts. We're glad you're here with us and all of our regular Penn's Pals. Welcome. Boys and girls, I think we're missing somebody on our show today. Who's missing? Put my, um, Amelia? Who's Penn. missing? Pen. <gasps> Should we call pen? him? Should, let's call him. Ready? See where he could be. One, two, three, go. Oh, no Pen! Do you see him, James? He's right there in He's the right tree. There. What do you think Pen is doing up in a tree? He's planting the tree in the red his glove. He is. He's dressed <coughs> in what kind of gloves, everybody? What oh. kind of gloves are those? Gardening gloves. Gardening, gardening gloves, gloves, right. Really and what does gardening mean? Why do you need gloves? Amelia. Because your hands make a dirty scratch. From what? Trees. Maya. The dirt. The dirt? Dakota, you said what? Trees. Trees? And he's up in a tree like a monkey, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Is he a monkey? No, no, he's a penguin. He's a blue penguin. And what else do you see maybe on our bookshelves that we need for gardening, James? Um, Can you see something up on our shelves back here? Yeah, the watering can. There's a watering can. And what else? The shovel. And a shovel. And what do you do with a watering can? Maya. Water plants. You water plants. And where do plants grow, Michael? In the ground. In the ground. Well, it is what season now? Spring. It is spring, even though it snowed lately. It's still spring, right? And in the spring, what comes up? James. Sun. The sun comes up. Amelia? Flowers. Flowers pop up. Have you guys Maya? seen flowers coming up no. already? No. Yeah. Some have. Very good. Snow is, snow is on the ground. Right. And you know what snow does when it melts? What? It turns into water. 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 And where do you think that water goes? Into up in the, the sun. Into the ground. Into the ground and up in the sun. it evaporates, right? And all of this has to do with our world, right? All of this has to do with our world that we live in. And this back here is a picture of our world. Is our world square and flat? No. no. Our world is what? Round. Round. And this is called a globe. Can you say globe? Globe. globe. And it's a picture of our world. And we are way up here Whoa. in the world. And when it turns spring, <coughs> we'll pretend that this is the sun. And in winter, we're tilted <laughs> away from the sun. Yep. And in the spring, what do we do? We turn towards the sun, and it gets hot in the summer. That's how our Whoa. world works. Well, today, Miss, Amel Miss Camilla is Miss Amelia. I almost made you an author. <laughs> Miss Camilla is our special author. Did you know that she wrote books? Yes. She did. She wrote three books so far, and her first book is about a boy named Ben. How many have a Ben in their family? I have one in my class. You do? Yeah. My, your brother is Ben, right? Yes, and you have Ben as a cousin, right? And what about your book, Miss Camilla? How does it have to do with spring and the world? Well, Ben is a very special person. Ben tries really hard to do things in his life. And when you work really hard, <coughs> what is he standing on? The he's, earth. He's standing on the earth. And what pose do you see that he's standing in? What do you think about that, Amelia? A proud pose. A proud a pose. Job. Why do you think he'd be proud? And why is he standing on the earth? Maybe if we Maya, what do you title? think? Um, think he's a superhero. He's a superhero. I think you might be right. The name of the book is I Can Do It. Lo Puedo Hacer. So boys and girls, our book today is in English and in Spanish. So I'm going to read to you the English and the Spanish, but when I'm done with the Spanish, you're going to read it back to me. So we're all going to learn a little Spanish we're today. We're going to need some help, aren't we? We're going to cooperate together, see if we can do it. Do you think we can do it? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Here we go. I can do it. Lo puedo hacer. Lo, Lo puedo, puedo hacer. hacer. Mom says, Ben, you can do it. Mamá dice, Ben, tú puedes hacerlo. Ben, ben. mamá dice, 
Mamá dice, Ben, tú puedes hacerlo. Ben, tú puedes hacerlo. Just have to jump higher. Solo tengo que saltar más alto. Solo tengo que saltar más alto. Dad says, Ben, you can do it. Papá dice, Ben, tú puedes hacerlo. I just have to help. Solo tengo que ayudar. Solo tengo que ayudar. Very good. Good job. Now he's outside. Tom says, Ben, you can do it. Tom dice, Ben, tú puedes hacerlo. I just have to play fair. Solo tengo que jugar justo. Solo tengo que jugar justo. That's playing fair. Do you like to play fair at school? Yes. yes it's very important to play fair. Sam says, Ben, you can do it. Sam dice, Ben, tú puedes hacerlo. I just have to run faster. Solo tengo que correr más rápido. Ready? Solo tengo que correr más rápido. Graham says, Ben, you can do it. Abuela dice, Ben, tú puedes hacerlo. I just have to make it stronger. Can I see your big strong muscles? Solo tengo que hacerlo más firme. Solo tengo que hacerlo más firme. Good job. I say I can do it. Yo digo puedo hacerlo. Yo digo puedo hacerlo. When you believe in yourself, can you do anything you want to do? Yes. You can be anything you want to be. I just have to be myself. Solo tengo que ser yo mismo. Solo tengo que ser yo mismo. I have to just be myself. I just have to be myself. Now, Miss Camila, why did you write your book in English and Spanish? I wrote my book in English and Spanish because I think it's so important for everyone to understand and learn another language. Do any of you speak another language? Emilia, what can you speak? I speak Spanish. We're supposed to be learning French soon. Oh. And my dad is trying to teach me Italian. Wow. Oh, wow. And Maya, what do you know? Um, Hungarian. Hungarian. Very, very cool. I know Feliz Navidad. And what does that mean, Feliz Navidad? Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Very good. Very good. And we live in a great big world, right? And do we all speak the same language? No. no. There's a different language for almost every country. And to live in the great big world, we have to live together, right? Yes. Not everybody will be the same. And the great big world is made up of land and dirt yeah. and, water. and water and sky. sun and the sky. Yeah. Air. What else besides people walk on the earth? James. Animals. 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 Ethan. Amphibians. 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 And Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> Michael. Penguins. Penguins, Penguins live on the my earth. Ma uh, Dakota. Um, animals. 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 James. Um, and the sidewalk. And the, side the sidewalk. But did the sidewalk grow there? <laughs> no. no. Well, today, boys and girls, we have a special guest with us. And as Miss Camilla goes ahead and takes care of Pen our Penguin and gets him out of the tree, when we come back, we will be visiting with Mr. Mike, who is an arborist. Do you know what an arborist is? No. Well, we will find out right after this. Welcome back to Pen's Pals. And we had a wonderful uh, story by our co-host, Camilla Gabrielle. And you can find out more about I Can Do It and all of Ben's ventures 
at www.penspals.com. But right now, boys and girls, we have an arborist with us. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Mike. Hi, kids. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Penn. <laughs> And Penn is glad to have you with us too. Now, Mike, you are what's called an arborist, and you are with CW Arborist out of Guilford, Connecticut. Can Correct. you tell the boys and girls here, as well as at home, what an arborist does? Well, basically, I work with trees every day, uh, and trees, like people, have a lot of needs. So, every question that's posed to me, I need to try and figure out an answer for people and for the health of the trees. Now, do you see a lot of sick trees, just like a doctor? Some days we're, we're dealing with sick trees, trees that uh, have diseases and aren't faring very well. And a lot of days I see very healthy trees that we really don't have much to do with. So that's always a pleasant surprise. That's the day. Tree in that one. These are pretty healthy, that's right. Could an unhealthy tree have leaves? An unhealthy tree could have leaves. Um, so there might be another reason you might call a broken branch or maybe you saw a lot of insects crawling up and down them, but not ants. Ants are not uh, as bad as you would think. What would a leaf that's sick look like? A leaf that's sick might be very yellow. It might turn brown when there's still uh, green leaves on the trees. They might fall onto the ground. There may be a pile at the bottom of a small tree. That would show us that a tree is sick. Our um, evergreen tree had like, like these bugs on okay. it, and it was on the top, it was like really brown. Really brown, and maybe down below it was still a little bit green? Yeah, like a little bit. A little bit. Can I, can I tell you about an evergreen? I brought one with me yes. today. Yes. Uh, you brought up a good point. This is an evergreen, guys. A lot like a pine tree or a Christmas tree or, uh, you know, this it's happens to be a Leyland Cypress. And there like sure is. But I wanted right? to point out, like Maya was talking about, this is an evergreen. This tree stays green all year long. Sometimes they turn a, a little less green, but, but regardless, they keep their needles and leaves. Versus a tree like this, which loses its leaves it's in the sick. fall. No, this is a very healthy tree. It hasn't grown its new leaves. Now, do you guys know what leaves do to trees? Do for trees? How about you, Ethan. sir? It's not always the roots that give the water to the tree, it's sometimes the leaves. That's true, that's true. Sometimes the leaves and the bark, perhaps like the uh, great redwoods out in California, they get a lot of water from other parts other than roots, so that's a, that's a great observation. So, Mr. Mike, your question was, what do leaves do for trees? What, what can leaves do for trees? And, and it's been pointed out, they can bring water in, they can bring moisture in, more than water. Okay. Uh, they help uh, create food. They give, um, they give shade to the roots of the tree so that they don't dry out too much in the summer, in the hot sun. Um, they provide food for a lot of things, for, for other animals, other insects, and things like that. What kind of food, boys and girls, do you think you could find in a tree? Apples. Oh. Apples come from a tree. What else? Pears. Pears come from a tree. Now, what other things, Mr. Mike, do trees provide for us? They provide us food, they provide us with wood to make chairs, uh, houses, this building is built out of wood, our pencils that we write with are made out of wood. Uh, perhaps you guys have some more examples. Anybody have another good idea? Well, to make a dog house, you can chop down a tree and get the wood from that. You could. You now, is it healthy for us, Mr. Mike, to chop down all of our trees? Well, if we didn't have any trees, uh, we that would not be good for us. Uh, so we have to kind of protect some trees, but we have to be sensible and harvest trees that we need to use so that we can make houses and homes and pencils and paper and all the various things that we need. Sure, it they, they do. They, it's it's a, called the pulp. They grind up the wood and they make a pulp and they press that out into a big sheet and then they cut it into little bits and that's what we write on. So that's how that happens. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to indiscriminately chop down trees just for firewood. We want to make good choices. We want to harvest uh, maybe trees that are dead or sick and take those out. And, uh, and, and the, you know, that's how we get to the firewood part. Arbor Day is, um, is, is pretty much just a discussion of trees for awareness. We can plant trees, we can talk about trees. Um, in fact, tomorrow I know at uh, Sagamore Hill, there's a big volunteer Arbor Day in uh, Sagamore Hills in New York, but Teddy Roosevelt was one of our presidents. And so there's about 100 people that are going to volunteer to help out with the trees that are kind of sick and broken from all the storms. So it's a good day to volunteer, to help out. Many communities have, um, have an opportunity for adults to help. So. 
Now, did you want to show us how a tree is put together? I sure do. Okay. I, brought, I brought a special tree. So let's start with this. We know what these are, right, guys? Not yet. Right, we talked about that. Inside of that is a seed, and this is a little seed. Did you know nuts were seeds? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this, yeah. this is the hard part. This protects it. And what this, do we call that? The shell. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, and inside of each of these are types of seeds. There's small ones. You guys have eaten apples. You know the little black seeds? And then the big seed and an avocado. Pears have seeds. Have you ever had an orange with seeds? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And, no, we no. Seeds. and inside here, inside of the pine cone, there are seeds. And they would, they would be in here. So from the tree, or from the seeds, roots grow. And from the roots, then the top or the trunks begin to grow. And then leaves unfold. And then pretty soon from a tree, from a little tiny thing like this, we can get a 100 foot tall or 120 foot tall tree. We can get gigantic trees out of a very small thing. So let's go to our evergreen because this is smaller. Okay. All right, guys, so let me take this out of the... Now, what is our evergreen planted in, boys and girls? What is that around the base of the tree? Dirt. Dirt. This is dirt. Right, or the earth. Okay, guys, so this, what happens is when a tree comes up, uh, and it sprouts, it, it's very, very small. So a part like this kind of grows. You know, like it'll grow like this. And then as it gets bigger, and the tree just keeps expanding, it gets bigger and bigger. And this particular tree could get upwards 60 feet tall, and very quickly, too. Uh, so if you look here, uh, here, you guys want to step up and look at the roots? Stand up. Let's look at how fragile these are. Are the roots very big, boys and girls? No, they're little. Can you they're very help me? little. There we go. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Okay, let's look at this, guys. See these parts? Yeah. These are the parts where the trees get the most, the majority of their water, and everything else they need to build themselves out of the soil. So this soil, the dirt out in the woods, generally helps these trees grow. Is that, that's pretty interesting, right? Oh, well, let me see that. That's just a piece of dirt. Okay. Um, so this is, this is it. Can we have two minutes? Oh, okay. Um, this is a tree. Now I want to tell you guys something. When we plant a tree, when you plant one, then you get it in a pot like this or in a bag, we want to be very careful to make sure that the part, it's called the flare, but you don't want to bury it too deep. And after, after you plant it, we want to put water on it, okay? And then we just kind of want to let the tree grow a little bit, and, and you just pay attention to it. And every once in a while, you give it a little bit of water, maybe you prune a little branch, but you don't do a whole lot at once ever to a tree. You just do little things to help it grow better. And if you do too much, it would not grow. That's right. You would keep stopping it, and you would take away, you would take away from the tree until what? eventually you didn't have anything. Alex? Oh, these are just, this is just for making air in the root system. So how long would it take for even a little tree like this to grow? Well, a tree like this can grow upwards three feet a year. Wow. So it can grow three feet tall, maybe three feet wide, and every year, three more feet. This is an apple tree. This is actually the kind of tree that will give us the fruit as we saw before. Um, Does it look like an apple tree you've seen in the orchard? No. No? no. no. What's different about this tree? James. The, the um, the branches aren't as big as normal. Right. Are there, what's missing? There's not apples. There's, there's no apples. apples. And there's no leaves. And there's no leaves, but this is how an apple tree begins, right, Mr. Mike? This is how it begins. And now this is one we would take out and plant in the yard or plant in an orchard if we, if we were building an orchard. Uh, again, the same, the same sort of thing. In order to plant this, we need to take away the bag and we need to take away all this stuff to get to uh, soil. See. While he's doing that, boys and girls, can you um, give us one more thing that maybe trees give us as people? James over there. Um, what do the leaves give us in the summer? Um, Shade. And food. And food. And we are done, but we'll We're keep done. going so that they can cut. Did you have something more you wanted to add? Well, what I didn't add to you guys, tell you guys about is how important it is to uh, 
to protect trees and how it's, how it's important to learn how to care for them properly when we get older so that we don't make mistakes and hurt them more than help them. Can I ask if Mike is still taping just so this can be added in? Okay, we'll just go a few more minutes so that they yeah. have something to work with. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize we're running okay. out of time. Um, so it's important, we all, as you guys mentioned before, trees help us make oxygen. They help us uh, with rain. They help slow down the rainwater so we don't have too much erosion. Uh, they help uh, with the oxygen. They help with shade, they keep things cooler. Um, they, they protect the river banks. Um, they help line the streets, the sidewalks, and the villages, and the towns. Uh, and I like being around trees. They make me feel good. And I, and I used to climb them when I was a little boy. And I used to go to parks and marvel at them because they get so big. And I'm sure you guys could tell me lots of stories about trees in your yards and swing sets and, and all the important things that trees do. Okay, one last question one from last Ethan, question. and then we're going to say goodbye to our audience. So one last question. I'm, I'm growing an apple tree. You're growing an apple tree? That's awesome. Well, boys and girls, we are so glad to have had you join us on Pens Pals today. Let's give Mr. Mike a big hand of applause. We thank you for coming with us. And we thank you two at home for joining us on Pens Pals. To learn more about Pens Pals or about um, all of our authors, including Miss Camilla's book today, please join us at www.penspals.com. And of course, if you have any tree concerns or want to learn more about being an arborist, please visit Mr. Mike at CW Arborist on Facebook. And until the next time, see you later. <laughs>